Right, so we have added our vehicle information. Now let's start refueling these vehicles or vehicle that you want to use. So there are two ways of doing that. You go into home screen and you click into fuel section and it will present you with information screen that you need to enter. Or the second way is if you go into mileage log, that's where you add the refueling information. Strangely, it says mileage log, but that's where you enter the refueling information. Click on the plus sign, and again, you are presented with the same screen. Let's start by adding some auto information. Say we have filled up at 25,000 mile first fuel refilling. Say it's a 60 liter tank. We added 60 liters of diesel at the price of, for example, 160 perhaps, and cost me 96 pounds. Wow. <laughs> anyway, let's go back, say, I filled up this, for example, last year in May or April the 1st. <laughs> yeah, April the 1st. Say I filled it up at midday. Yeah. It was a full tank, so I select the full tank. Has it not been a full tank? I can go a setup tank level. And then I can select tank level before or after fill up. I can say if after fill up, it went to 60 liters. Because I filled up 60 liters, so it gave me 100%. There we go. Or you can use the full tank option. Same thing. You can select, next section is where you select the petrol station you went to. You can click on select and the nearby option is showing all the petrol stations. You can select your favorite if you have selected any favorite or you can go into map and it will show you all the nearest petrol stations on a map. Helpful if you want to go or you don't know where you are, you just select that way. Nearby. I'll select Apple Green, which is nearby to me. Then on the next section is pictures. Here you can add a picture of your receipt or you can scan your receipt, but the scanner of the receipt option needs to have a premium version of Fulio app, which is £10 a year. It's not bad. Another section is optional. If you want to add any notes that you want to, and if you have any discounts offered by the petrol station, some petrol stations do offer some discounts. So you can add that information here. Click on yes. And there we have it. We have our fuel information added onto our Suzuki SX Cross into a mileage log. That's how you add fuel information. Now to add another information of refueling, which will be really helpful if you want to work out the fuel consumption per mile. For that, you got to have two entries at least. So for the app to calculate all the consumption values and the total cost of each travel based on the consumption of per mileage. Now notice, refueling I did at the odometer counter was saying 25,000 for example and it's going to show me 25,000. Okay, now if I add another refueling information, say for example I added at 25, 500 miles. How much mile, how many liters I added? Let's say another 60 liters, another full tank of diesel. Price, we went to 165 this time, it's cost me 99 pounds. And that's something we added. The first one was 1st of April last year. Now let's say in 10 days, we added another 60 liters. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the time as it is. Again, it was a full tank. So we can select the full tank. Again, fuel petrol station information. I'll leave it as it is. My nearest one is apple green so we'll leave that again if you want to add pictures a receipt a scanned receipt or a picture of your receipt you can add it from this section 
optional information. Now notice in the second, from the first fill up onwards, from the second fill up onwards rather, you will have this option added which is missed previous fill up. So you can select that. Now you notice the mileage of Suzuki SX as SX4 S cross has gone to 25500. That's the last information of when I refueled this. Last time I refueled this car. That's the information it's going to show. So the more information you add, it will keep adding on to this odometer counter at what mileage you refueled your vehicle. That's how it works. Now, on the second fill up, it's showing my consumption values at 8.33 miles per liter. So the more information you add, the more it will start becoming better at fuel consumption values. It will calculate each time. Let's add one more. Let's add at, say, 25, 900 this time. We filled, say, only 30 liters of diesel. Price cost me again 167 this time, 50 pounds. And we added this in May the 4th. Okay. Say we have... After refueling, we have got fuel full tank now. So we click that, yes. Again, petrol station, you select that. Pictures of your receipts, or you can scan your receipt. Optional information, if you want to add, click yes. Now, as you see, 25,900 is the odometer counter when I last filled up or added this information here. Now, you see, the difference here on this on the second fill up I have fuel consumption showing me at 8.33 miles per liter here it's improved is 13.33 miles per liter see how that works so the more information you add the better or it will start showing you the correct information of your vehicle's consumption values. <clears throat> so for that, you have got to have accurate information added to this app. This is all just for the demonstration purposes. I'm sure I can get more mileage per liter out of this uh, Suzuki SX4. It's only 1.6. So the more information you add, the better it becomes. I'll show you what I mean purchase motorcycle that I have been adding since I bought this. And you can see I have only two fill-ups. First fill-up is not showing my fuel consumption. Okay. The second fill-up, it's showing me I have used or I got 35.51 miles per liter of fuel. Adios, guys. See you in the next video.